Hey, I'm Shannon Thrasher and this is 30 Second Tactics. Well guys, we're out on the range today with Prep doing some uh, sniper work and took a little break and whipped you out a quick video. This is uh, Jeremy, one of my lead instructors. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you again at the end. Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's talk about some steps of a basic draw and presentation. The first step is I'm going to start from a good draw position. Now, for most cop stuff, that means I'm going to be squared up in the general direction of the threat, and I'm going to have my hands above my waist. My strong side or dominant hand typically stays closer to my body. From this position, if the time comes to draw the weapon, I'm going to drive my strong hand down to the weapon, establishing what's called a master grip. Now, I have a touch point where I feel the gun. As the hand comes down onto the weapon, I disengage whatever security or retention features the holster might have. When I drive the hand down to the gun, that also forces the web of my hand high on the back strap of the pistol in the holster. Now, once we've reached that point, I can establish my master grip on the pistol, and I'm gonna clear the dead space from the gun to center mass of my chest fairly quickly. In super slow motion, it looks like this. Now we're at a compressed position. This is where I can marry my two hands together and establish the grip technique of my choice and remain compressed, or I can extend the weapon to a fully extended assessment position. If I want to come from here directly on target, it allows me to come up at a high angle and present from the chin where the sights or the optic come in line with my eye much sooner. So we present to the target, engage that threat as needed. We can come down to an assessment and decide if it's time to put the gun away. If it is time to put the gun away, I'm gonna reverse the draw stroke in its entirety, recompress, break that hand down and go to the holster. Now, if I need to take my eyes from the threat to the holster, there's nothing wrong with that. These tactical guys that say you can't do that, I have one question. If this person is such a threat, why can't I, why, why can't I take my eyes off of them long enough to holster? Why am I holstering? So if I need to glance down, I'm gonna glance down, put the gun away, and continue right on doing cop work. Well, that's what we have for you this week, guys. As always, please hit the like button, subscribe, share the videos. As always, work, train, repeat. Stay safe.